The Philippine Air Force (PAF), Filipino, Hukbang Himpapavit ng Pilipinas, Spanish, Fuerza Aérea de Filipinas, is the aerial warfare service branch of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. History Philippine Commonwealth and Independence The Early Years and World War II the forerunners of the Philippine Air Force was the Philippine Militia, otherwise known as Philippine National Guard PNG. On March 17, 1917 Senate President Manuel L. Quezon enacted a bill, Militia Act 2715, for the creation of the Philippine Militia. It was enacted in anticipation that there would be an outbreak of hostilities between United States and Germany. By the end of the First World War, the U.S. Army and Navy began selling aircraft and equipment to the Philippine Militia Commission. The commission then hired the services of the Curtis School of Aviation to provide flight training to 33 students at a local base in Parañaque. The early aviation unit was, however, still lacking enough knowledge and equipment to be considered as an air force and was then limited only to air transport duties. On January 2, 1935, Philippine military aviation was activated when the 10th Congress passed Commonwealth Act 1494 that provided for the organization of the Philippine Constabulary Air Corps PCAC. PCAC was renamed as the Philippine Army Air Corps PAAC, in 1936. It started with only three planes on its inventory. In 1941, PAAC had a total of 54 aircraft including pursuit fighters, light bombers, reconnaissance aircraft, light transport and trainers. They later engaged the Japanese when they invaded the Philippines in 1941-42, and were reformed in 1945 after the country's liberation. Post-war and AFP restructuring the PAF became a separate military service on July 1, 1947, when President Manuel Roxas issued Executive Order No. 94. This order created the Philippine Naval Patrol and the Air Force as equal branches of the Philippine Army and the Philippine Constabulary under the now Armed Forces of the Philippines becoming Southeast Asia's Third Air Force as a result. The main aircraft type in the earlier era of the PAF was the P-51 Mustang, flown from 1947 to 1959. Ground attack missions were flown against various insurgent groups, with aircraft hit by ground fire but none shot down. In the 1950s the Mustang was used by the Blue Diamonds Aerobatic Display Team. These would be replaced by the jet-powered North American F-86 Sabres in the late 1950s, assisted by Lockheed T-33 Shooting Star and Beechcraft T-34 Mentor Trainers. The PAF saw its first international action in the Congo under the UN peacekeeping mission in 1960. Cold War Era Marcos Rule and People Power Revolution during the 70s, the PAF was actively providing air support for the AFP campaign against the MNLF forces in central Mindanao, aside from doing the airlifting duties for troop movements from Manila and Cebu to the war zone. Traditional workhorses like the UH-1H choppers, L-20 Beaver aircraft, and C-47 gunships were mainly used in the campaign. In the same decade, the PAF Self-Reliance Development Group, the forerunner of the Air Force Research and Development Center, AFRDC, was created. The center enabled the PAF to create prototypes of aircraft aside on going into partnership with the private sector for some of its requirements. In late 1977, the Philippine government purchased 35 second-hand U.S. Navy F-8Hs that were stored at Davis Monthan AFB in Arizona. Twenty-five of them were refurbished by VOD and the remaining ten were used for spare parts. As part of the deal, the U.S. would train Philippine pilots in using the TF-8A. They were mostly used for intercepting Soviet bombers. The F-8s were grounded in 1988 and were finally withdrawn from service in 1991 after they were badly damaged by the Mount Pinatubo eruption, and have since been offered for sale as scrap. On February 24, 1986 at the height of political struggle between the Marcoses and the Aquinos, the 15th Strike Wing defected to the Ramos and Real camp, taking their squadrons of S-76 Sikorsky, that later dictated the EDSA People Power Revolution which effectively ended the Marcos rule. 1986-1990 coup attempts 
The following years remained hostile for the Philippines. A series of bloody coup attempts led by then Colonel Gregorio Hanazan of the Reform the Armed Forces Movement involved thousands of renegade troops, including elite units from the Army and Marines, in a coordinated series of attacks on Malacanang and several major military camps in Manila and surrounding provinces, including Sangli and Villamor Air Base, using the T 28 aircraft for aerial assaults. President Corazon Aquino found it necessary to request United States support to put down the uprising. As a result, a large U.S. Special Operations Force was formed and named Operation Classic Resolve, as USAF F-4 fighter aircraft stationed at Clark Air Base patrolled above Rebel Air Bases, and two aircraft carriers were positioned off the Philippines. The U.S. operation soon caused the coup to collapse. Additional U.S. forces were then sent to secure the American Embassy in Manila. The military uprisings resulted in an estimated $1.5 billion loss to the Philippine economy. U.S. military departure from the Philippines The Cold War era has reached its end point as tensions between the two ideological rivals, the United States and the Soviet Union, have simmered down as a result of the dissolution of the latter and the massive change of political system among its allies. The fate of the U.S. military bases in the country was greatly affected by these circumstances, aside from the catastrophic eruption of Mount Pinatubo in 1991 which engulfed the installations with ash and lahar flows. The nearby Clark Air Base was eventually abandoned afterwards, while the Philippine Senate voted to reject a new treaty for Subic Naval Complex, its sister American installation in Zambales. This occurrence had effectively ended the century-old U.S. military presence in the country, even as President Corazon Aquino tried to extend the lease agreement by calling a national referendum, leaving a security vacuum in the region and terminated the inflows of economic and military aid into the Philippines. Contemporary era The AFP modernization efforts and the Asian financial crisis the importance of territorial defense capability was highlighted in the public eye on 1995 when the AFP published photographs of Chinese structures on Mischief Reef in the Spratlys. Initial attempts to improve the capabilities of the armed forces happened when a law was passed in the same year for the sale of redundant military installations and devote 35% of the proceeds for the AFP upgrades. Subsequently, the legislature passed the AFP Modernization Act. The law sought to modernize the AFP over a 15-year period, with minimum appropriation of 10 billion pesos per year for the first five years, subject to increase in subsequent years of the program. The modernization fund was to be separate and distinct from the rest of the AFP budget. However, the Asian financial crisis struck the region on 1997. This has greatly affected the AFP modernization program due to the government's austerity measures meant to turn the economy around after suffering from losses incurred during the financial crisis. Several air assets acquired by the Philippine Air Force through the original AFP modernization program of 1995 were the AW-109 armed scout helicopters, and airlift assets like the Airbus C-295 and CASA C-212 aviocar. A decade of neglect. Since the retirement of the Northrop F 5s in September 2005 without a planned replacement, the Philippine Air Force was left without fighter jets. The PAF resorted to the Airmachi S 211 trainer jets to fill the void left by the F 5s. These S 211s were later upgraded to light attack capability and used for air and sea patrol and also performed counter insurgency operations from time to time. The only active fixed-wing aircraft to fill the roles were the SF-260 trainers with light attack capability, the OV-10 Bronco light attack and reconnaissance aircraft and the S-211 Warriors upgraded S-211. The South China Sea Arbitration Case and Revised AFP Modernization Program the incidents with Chinese presence in the South China Sea prompted the Philippines to proceed with formal measures while challenging the Chinese activities in some of the sea features in the disputed island chain. 
Hence, the South China Sea arbitration case was filed by the Philippines in 2013 at the International Tribunal for the Law of the Sea ITLOS, reminiscent to what occurred in 1995. The Congress passed the revised AFP Modernization Act of 2012. This was meant to replace the older AFP Modernization Act of 1995 signed during former Pres. Fidel V. Ramos' term, when its 15-year program effectivity expired in 2010. Major air assets acquired in this new modernization program iteration are 12 F-A-50 light fighters, while those programmed for future procurements are the multi-role fighters and the maritime patrol aircraft, among other equipment. Flight Plan 2028 in response to regional strategic challenges and perceived internal weaknesses, the PAF has embarked on a transformation process to enhance its capabilities. Flight Plan 2028 is administered by the Air Force Strategy Management Office AFSMO, and aims to build the PAF capability to detect, identify, intercept and neutralize intrusions in the Philippine Air Defense Identification Zone PADIZ, and the South China Sea, to the north and west of the archipelago, from Area Readiness 4 to Area Readiness 3 by 2022. Build the PAF capability to detect, identify, intercept and neutralize intrusions into the entire Philippine territory from Area Readiness 3 to Area Readiness 1 by 2028. The plan calls for a reorienting of the Philippine Air Force from a primarily internal security role to a territorial defense force. It will require substantial organizational, doctrinal, training, strategic and equipment transformation. U.S.-Philippine Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement On April 2014, the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement was signed by the representatives of the Philippine and U.S. governments, aimed at bolstering the military alliance of both countries. The agreement allows the United States to rotate troops into the Philippines for extended stays and allows the U.S. to build and operate temporary facilities on Philippine military bases for both American and Philippine forces use. Both parties agreed to determine the military installations across the Philippines as covered by the pact, including the former U.S. Subic Bay Naval Base and Clark Air Base, as well as several locations on Cebu, Luzon, and Palawan. As of 2016, four PAF bases and one Army camp have been determined by the United States and the Philippines to be utilized under the agreement. The Air Force bases are Basa Air Base, Antonio Bautista Air Base, Benito Abuan Air Base, and Lumbia Airfield. Organization Leadership the following were the highest officials of the PAF who once served as its commanding general. Lieutenant Gen. Pelagio A. Cruz, 9 June 1947 to 27 October 1947, acting, 3 November 1953 to 31 July 1956. Brig. General Eustacio D. Orobia. Brig. General Benito Nicano R. Abuan. Maj. General Pedro Q. Molina Brig. General Jonas A. Victoria Brig. General Augusto L. Gerardo Maj. General Victor Dizon Brig. General Jose B. Ramos Brig. General Emmanuel S. Casabar Brig. Gen. Juan B. Guevara Brig. General Jesus Z. Singson Brig. General Jose L. Rancudo Maj. General Samuel O. Sarmiento Brig. General Petronio M. La Pena Maj. General Vicente M. Pacho, Jr. Maj. General Ramon J. Farrellin, Jr. Lieutenant Gen. Antonio E. Sotelo Maj. General Jose de Leon, Jr. Maj. Gen. Geraldo C. Pratasio Lt. Gen. Lovin C. Abadia Maj. Gen. Leopoldo A. Cot Lt. Gen. Nicasio Rodriguez, Jr. 
Lt. Gen. William K. Hotchkiss III Lt. Gen. Willie C. A. C. D. A. C. Florendo Lt. Gen. Benjamin P. Defensor, Jr. Lt. Gen. Nestor R. Santillan Lt. Gen. Jose L. Reyes Lt. Gen. Horacio Tolentino Lt. Gen. Pedrito Cinco Cadungog Lt. Gen. Oscar H. Rabina Lt. Gen. Lauro Catalino de la Cruz Lt. Gen. Jeffrey F. Delgado Lt. Gen. Edgar R. Falarina Lt. Gen. Galileo Gerard R. Kintaner, Jr. Tactical Commands The three tactical commands are in the direct control of the PAF leadership while serving his function in the command chain of the AFP. These units are jointly reactivated and reorganized on July 21, 2017 while effectively replacing the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd Air Divisions as part of the PAF Flight Plan 2028. Air Defense Command Air Mobility Command Tactical Operations Command Support Commands Air Logistics Command Air Education, Training, and Doctrine Command Air Force Reserve Command Air Wings 5th Fighter Wing, Basa Air Base, it is responsible for air defense and interdiction. It replaced the Air Defense Wing after the two were reactivated to their original status on 2017. Flying Units 7th Tactical Fighter Bulldogs Squadron currently flies the Chi FA 50PH Fighting Eagle Multirole Fighter Aircraft. 105th Fighter Training Blackjack Squadron conducts jet qualification and training for future fighter bound pilots. Currently flies the Airmachi S211 jet training aircraft. 15th Strike Wing, Danilo Atinza Air Base, it has a basic function of providing air support to surface forces of the AFP. Flying Units 16th Attack Eagle Squadron currently flies the Rockwell OV-10A, C, M, Bronco 17th Attack Jaguars Squadron currently flies the Airmachi SF-260TP 18th Attack Falcon Squadron currently flies the Leonardo AW-109E Power 19th Composite Tactical Training Griffin Squadron 20th Attack Firebird Squadron, currently flies the McDonnell Douglas MD-520MG Defender Support Units 590th Air Base Group 460th Maintenance and Supply Group 205th Tactical Helicopter Wing, Benito Abuan Air Base, it is responsible for conducting tactical helicopter operations in support of the PAF and AFP. The wing currently flies the Bell UH-1H Huey, Dornier Bell UH-1D Huey, Bell 412 EP helicopters. Flying Units 206th Tactical Helicopter Hornet Squadron 207th Tactical Helicopter Stingers Squadron 208th Tactical Helicopter Daggers Squadron 210th Tactical Training Squadron Support Unit 450th Maintenance and Support Group 220th Airlift Wing, Benito Abuan Air Base, it provides tactical airlift operations in support of the AFP. It is also currently the unit temporarily responsible for conducting long-range maritime patrol and air reconnaissance. Flying Units 221st Airlift Squadron currently flies the Airbus C295M and Fokker F-27 Friendship Medium Tactical Transport Aircraft 222nd Airlift Squadron currently flies the Lockheed C-130B, HT Hercules Heavy Tactical Transport Aircraft 
223rd Airlift Squadron currently flies the GAF N22B, Sea Nomad and EADSIEN C212 I Light Tactical Transport Aircraft 228th Transport Crew and Training Squadron Support Unit 470th Maintenance Support Group, 250th Presidential Airlift Wing, Villamore Air Base, it provides air transportation to the President of the Philippines, immediate members of his per family, heads of states, state guests, and very very important persons, BVIP. Flying Units 251st Presidential Airlift Squadron, currently flies the Fokker F-27 Friendship and Fokker F-28 Fellowship VVIP aircraft. 252nd Presidential Airlift Squadron, currently flies the Bell 412 EP, HP VVIP helicopters. Support Unit 480th Maintenance and Supply Group 300th Air Intelligence and Security Wing, Antonio Bautista Air Base, responsible for conducting surveillance, intelligence gathering, and maritime patrol using air and ground assets. Flying Units 301st Air Intelligence Squadron, currently flies the Cessna 208B Grand Caravan ISR and Turbo Commander 690A ISR aircraft, also provide ISR equipment operators for severe equipped C-130T Hercules when configured for maritime patrol aircraft missions. 355th Aviation Engineering Wing, Clark Air Base, the unit is tasked to provide general engineering support, including construction, repair, rehabilitation and maintenance of PAF aerodrome facilities and utilities, 580th Aircraft Control and Warning Wing, Wallace Air Station, it is responsible for operating air defense and surveillance radar systems of the PAF. It was reactivated on November 3, 2016 after being downgraded to a group on April 1, 2005, 710th Special Operations Wing, Colonel Ernesto Rubina Air Base, it is responsible for conducting special operations, counter-terrorism, and defense of PAF bases and facilities. The unit is also being groomed to be responsible for ground-based air defense system GBADS, units which is being inducted into the PAF's future capabilities. Combat Units 720th Special Operations Group, based in Villamore Air Base, Pasay City 730th Combat Group 740th Combat Group, based in Fernando Air Base, Lipa City 750th Combat Group, based in Camp General Emilio Aguinaldo, Quezon City 760th Combat Group 770th Special Operations Combat Support Group, based in Clark Air Base, Angeles City 772nd Explosive Ordnance Disposal Squadron 773rd K-9 Squadron 780th Ground-Based Air Defense Group Separate Units 505th Search and Rescue Group, Villamore Air Base, it is responsible for air search and rescue operations in support of the AFP and civilian agencies. The unit currently flies the Bell 205A, UH-1H Huey II, Bell UH-1H Super Huey, and the PZLW-3A Sokol as SAR helicopters, and the Sikorsky S-76A as air ambulances. Flying Units 5051st Search and Rescue Squadron 5052nd Search and Rescue Squadron 900th Air Force Weather Group Aerobatic teams The Philippine Air Force had a number of aerobatic teams in which the PAF Blue Diamonds was the first to be founded, and was among the oldest formal flying aerobatic teams in the world. All of the following units are at the inactive status due to eventual retirement of aging aircraft, most notably the Northrop F-5 Freedom Fighters. Blue Diamonds 5th Fighter Wing, Air Defense Command, Red Aces 7th Tactical Fighter Squadron, 5th FW Golden Sabres 9th Tactical Fighter Squadron, 5th FW, merged with the Red Aces on 1973 
Bubuyogs, PAF Helicopter Precision Demonstration Team, 205th Tactical Helicopter Wing. Bases The Philippine Air Force has nine major air bases and several radar, communications, and support facilities located throughout the archipelago. Shared facilities with commercial airports currently being used as detachments by the Tactical Operations Command were not included here. Current inventory Modernization program the following equipment listed below are either scheduled for delivery or in the planning stages for the next horizons of the AFP modernization program. Combat aircraft Multi-role fighters There were several occasions that the PAF tried to modernize its fighter aircraft force, which was left to decline for several decades. In 1991 the newly democratic Russian government offered the PAF several of its aircraft including the Mikoyan MiG-29 and Suhoi Su-27 during a demonstration held at Villamore Air Base. In 1992 the PAF received offers for both the IAIKFIR and the F-16 Fighting Falcon. After the enactment of the 1995 AFP Modernization Act, the PAF made renewed calls to purchase several fighter aircraft, with the initial plan of having 36 multirole fighters in a span of 15 years. Offers included the American Lockheed Martin F-16C D Falcon and McDonnell Douglas, now Boeing F-18C D Hornet, French Dassault Mirage 2005, and the Russian Mikoyan MiG-29. Also offered as alternatives were the embargoed Pakistani F-16A Bs and ex-French Air Force Mirage F-1 and ex-South African Air Force Danel Cheetahs, which were rejected as the government was then inclined on obtaining new build platforms. However, these modernization programs were put on hold after the Philippines' economy was impacted by the 1997 Asian financial crisis. Renewed interest would later come on used platforms. In June 2010, the Department of National Defense DND, was also looking at Kenyatta for used CF-18s or France for its used Mirage F-1s, although no decision or purchase came up. In December 2011, the DND and Department of Foreign Affairs DFA, was tasked to formally request at least a squadron of 12 ex-USAF F-16C-D fighter jets, most probably Block 25 or 30 which would be refurbished to either Block 50 or 52 standards. This was discussed during the U.S. Philippines 2 plus 2 meeting on 30 April 2012. The Philippine government would pay for refurbishing, maintenance and pilot training which would run for two years, however, by 2012 the maintenance costs for the used fighters were found to be too high so attention turned to new jet trainers that could be converted into jet fighters. The requirements were listed as supersonic ability, multifunction displays and on-board oxygen generation system. A DND spokesman has said that aircraft from France, the United Kingdom, Italy, and South Korea were considered. It was reported that the DND will be acquiring multirole fighters by 2018. In responding to the Philippine desire for multirole fighters, the United States offered variants of the General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon, and Sweden offered the Saab JAS-39 Gripen. Close air support aircraft The Philippine Air Force is looking to replace entire OV-10 Bronco fleet which are currently used for close air support and aerial reconnaissance platforms. Being considered are the Hawker Beechcraft AT-6B Texan II, Embraer EMB-314 Super Tucano, Kai Ka-11B, Elbit Systems L-159, and reportedly, the Air Tractor AT-802U. A decision from the PAF and DND was expected to be released by July 2012, but was moved to the fourth quarter of 2014 due to bureaucratic constraints. Hawker Beechcraft demonstrated their AT-6B Texan II, together with their other aircraft line, in April 2012 with a display at Clark Air Base. On 20 June 2012, it was reported that the Embraer EMB-314 Super Tucano from Brazil is a possible contender for its aircraft for a total of six units, which will be acquired for PHP 4.968 billion, 115 million United States dollars. In late November 2017, a statement by Embraer noted that the Philippine Air Force had placed an order for six Super Tucano aircraft. 
Attack helicopters as of the 27th of April 2018. Negotiations are ongoing for the donation of two Bell AH-1F Cobra attack helicopters and several dozen M113A2 armored personnel carriers from the Kingdom of Jordan to help the Philippine government combat ISIS terrorists. The Philippines will acquire 24 light attack helicopters for its requirement. They will procure these helicopters on Horizon 2 phase AFP modernization which covers 2018 to 2022. Transport aircraft Combat utility helicopters Following the abrupt cancellation for the order of 16 Bell 412 EPI helicopters from the Canadian Division of Bell Helicopters through a government-to-government -government contract with the Canadian Commercial Cooperation CCC, parent company Textron, Inc. announced on 27 April 2018 that negotiations were ongoing for the continuation of the sale using their factory in Texas, USA as the manufacturer, during a hearing by the Senate for the budget of the Department of National Defense for 2019, the commanding General of the PAF confirmed that there are four shortlisted helicopter models for the Combat Utility Helicopter Acquisition Project, the Bell 412 EPI but specifically sourced from the U.S. instead of Canada, the Sikorsky Black Hawk which is considered an expensive option but can be considered based on the package included in the offer, Leonardo SAW-139M Helicopter, and Russia's Mil Mi-171. Search and rescue aircraft Seaplanes In November 2013, the DND released an invitation to bid for the acquisition of three brand new search and rescue seaplanes with an integrated logistics package ILS. The DND has allotted 2.67 billion pesos for this project. The pre-bid conference was scheduled at November 15, 2013 while the actual bidding was scheduled at November 29, 2013. The seaplanes being offered should be used by the armed forces of the country of origin or by the armed forces of at least two other countries. Long-range patrol aircraft on 1 July 2014, President Benigno Aquino III announced plans to acquire two long-range patrol aircraft. A budget of P5.976 million has been allotted under the revised Armed Forces Modernization Program. Companies reported to have bought bid documents include Alenia Airmachi, Airbus Military and Elta System Limited. See also First Ready Reserve Air Wing PAF Philippine Army Philippine Navy Philippine Marine Corps Philippine Coast Guard Philippine Constabulary Philippine Air Force Women's Volleyball Team Philippine Air Force Air Spikers References Notes External links Official website History of the PAF PAF page at Scramble Papers of William Lasell Lee, former technical advisor to the Philippine Air Force and Chief of the Constabulary Air Corps, Dwight D. Eisenhower Presidential Library